Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying Trader Joe's a dozen sweet bites. You get four of each flavor. You get chocolate and coffee, uh, chocolate and coffee opera cake, raspberry macaron au flamboy cake, and caramel and chocolate cake. So, you open them like this. Am I holding it upside down? Let's we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely upside down. It looks like it's in little squares in a hole in a holder. Yeah, oh, they did a good job of packaging. They it. did, it's yeah. They made sure pretty they decently like, together. Only yeah. one of them's falling sideways. Yeah, they look really good. Okay, so go ahead and raspberry. Get, um, sure. That's, well, this one's coffee. I'm thinking. The middle one's gonna yeah be the raspberry. Uh, it says, ball. just right for an irresistibly delicious dessert platter for an afternoon tea or elegant holiday meal. This assortment of a dozen sweet bites has something to please just about everyone. Four bites each. Uh, remove desired pieces from packaging while still frozen and place on a serving plate defrost in the refrigerator for a few hours. For best appearance, do not attempt to remove from tray once defrosted. So, what we did was... Uh, I saw that they had to be defrosted, so I knew we were going to review these today. So they were frozen at Trader Joe's. I froze them when I got home, but then I put them in the refrigerator overnight. Yeah. I just took the whole box and stuck them. We're, we're not trying to make them presentable. I can understand why they're saying this because these are very, very soft. Yeah. So to take them out of the tray, you very well may pull them apart. If right. You're right. So, so if, if you move them frozen, frozen onto I'm, a plate and let them thaw, then they won't be moving anymore. Right. So you can do that at your house. Yeah. If you're going to serve them, it's just me and Tammy going to For us to try them for a review, it was just easier to stick the whole yeah. box in the fridge. Every one of them is a different calorie. Of course. Uh, so we're doing the... Um, raspberry. The raspberry is the... Yeah, that's what I thought. It is 60 calories. No. They are very small. Just keep that in mind. At first I was going to say I didn't get the raspberry, but it kind of develops. It's a very, the texture is very, very whipped. Mm -hmm. Almost, and it, in the, on the bottom part, it's almost wet. It has pieces of like coconut. Did you get a yeah. lot of coconut? Yeah, on top. I think that's what's on top. Yeah, it has uh, the little shreds of coconut. Um, it's a very whipped texture. Mm -hmm. Honestly, the, the raspberry was not strong at all for me. And I tasted it. But it's yeah. not, it, no, it's not nearly strong as enough to really say, ooh, that was really good. Or, ooh, that was worth 60 calories. No, it, it's okay. It's all right. I, I, for me and my calories, that is not worth 60 calories. No, it's not. I would rather have two, uh, three Hershey's Kisses. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. The caramel one or whatever that is? Yeah, let's do the caramel and chocolate cake. Now, this one looks uh, thick at the bottom, that cake part. Uh, caramel and chocolate cake is 70 calories, so we've gone from 60 to 70. Hmm. Isn't that crunchy in there? Mm-hmm. I think it's some layer they put between the cake and the caramel part. Uh, that tasted like a spice cake to me, like a... I didn't get much of anything out of it. I mean, I got a little bit of a caramel flavor, but it's not much. I swear, it it um, it tastes like spice cake. Hmm. It tastes like spice cake, and and then you got the crunchy texture of it. It um, it's not bad. I just think it's kind of plain. It yeah, both of these have been kind of plain. It does remind me of spice cake, though. If you've ever had these, you'll have to let me know if you thought the same thing, because it's that's just what it reminds me of. Um. And the last one is the chocolate and coffee opera cake, and it's the most calories. It's 80 calories a piece. It's very, um, lots of layers, though. It's pretty. It's cool. pretty. This is a product of France. That one definitely has the most flavor, mm -hmm. but it has a little bitter aftertaste. Mm -hmm. From and the that, dark chocolate. And the whatever the cake is, mm -hmm. it's very wet. Yes, it is wet. It, it, yes. But I thought that about all of these. All the cake's been kind of wet. Right. Yeah. Uh, well, but that one is the wettest. Yeah. 
It, um, it is an extremely wet cake, um, but it stays together really well. It does. It's just when you eat it, it's feel, it feels very soggy. That one definitely had the most flavor because you, I still have a coffee mm -hmm. flavor in my mouth. Yeah. Um, I personally just though, in all honesty, I would not buy this for no. us or for company again. No, they um, look really, really cool. Yes. But but that's where they stop. Yes, the flavors, the flavors back, right? no, that's just, and it, um, yeah. The, unfortunately, uh, we have thought that before about desserts from France, uh, that it's just, they're really beautiful, but then they, there's not a lot of strong flavors there. Mm -hmm. So, uh, for these, these would, they're not bad at all. They would look pretty on a, on a plate. They would look pretty, them. yeah, but, um, I but would, people wouldn't go back and get another one. No, I think they'd be one and done. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly. Like, eh, okay. Right. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.